so the next thing that we want to do is go to localhost with your specific port forward slash php my admin okay um, and I'm gonna delete this guy maybe maybe all right no I'm not just pretend like I don't have this web service database already set up um, because I already do and the only way that you're gonna be able to follow along is pretending that I don't have it okay just play along here um, what we need to do is create a new bit database again our database is kinda like a filing cabinet again so we have our server uh, which is a filing cabinet and then we have our database which is another filing cabinet and we can mix and match files okay very bad at explaining this stuff but hopefully you guys will follow along once we get into working with this it's gonna be pretty simple uh, we need to create a new database again if you go just go to your PHP my admin which will only work if you have this MySQL up and running as well within your control panel uh, PHP my admin and then we're gonna type in our database I'm gonna say web service because I don't have a web service database yet shoot I forgot you guys can't see me winking at you um, I'm just gonna do web service one you guys just do web service um, because I can't recreate the same database okay so just say web service hit create and as you can see we have a new database if we go back to our PHP admin web service and web service one go ahead and click on web service one or just stay on the page that it brought you to the next thing that we need to do is create some sheets or tables so tables hold all of our specific information about a specific topic uh, so we could have a table of awesome people we could have a table of our favorite foods um, we could have a table of classes that we have taken in college or whatever you guys want to think about and then within those tables we can have different characteristics so like so if, if we did do like favorite food we could be like type of food like fruit meat uh, you know dairy whatever we could have how hot or spicy it is um, how sweet or sour it is uh, there's a bunch of different things we could do within each table as well so it kind of just breaks down systematically um, and we're gonna create two tables one for our users and we're gonna have three fields um, these are the three characteristics that we're gonna define within our users table um, so just go ahead and hit enter we're okay go whatever it is generally it's go when you're working with MySQL and these are three field sets or characteristics of a user within our users table um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an ID which is just going to make sure that we keep track of all of our users and we're going to have auto increment up to 11 digits so that's quite a few users that we're going to be able to keep track of and we also want this to be unique you guys will understand how this works once we start adding users uh, so again if this is a little bit confusing if you've never done MySQL don't worry about it guys trust me I know you will understand this once we start uh, using our database and all that stuff um, but basically an ID is gonna give a number to each user that we register uh, within our users table so if I'm the first person being registered I had, would have an ID of one and then the next time someone registers it's gonna auto increment and give them the ID of two and all of our IDs are gonna be unique whether we delete our user, add a new user, it's always gonna be a unique number, always going up by one from the previous ID number. Uh, kind of confusing, don't worry about it too much, um, but it is int value, so it's just kind of like a number, whole number, um, whatever, cool. Uh, next thing that we want is a username and a password. Now these won't be, uh, these won't be integer values, we're going to use var car, var car um, for this, and we could use text or whatever. We're going to give our length 64 here. So obviously, you guys probably know what a username is, and so obviously, you guys probably know what a username is and a password. Don't really have to explain it, but we want our usernames to be unique. We don't want to have more than one username that's the same. So we want to change our username to be unique. Uh, some people might have the same passwords, but it doesn't really matter as long as their username is different, right? 
so that's pretty much our setup. Um, don't worry too much about the type and this length and kind of all this other stuff. Don't worry about too much. This isn't a MySQL tu tutorial. It's a very simple thing to grasp once you start using MySQL. You don't really need to learn it that much. Um, pretty easy to get a, a grasp of how it works. Oh, we're gonna hit save. Um, so now we have our users table set up with this information here. We can edit this stuff, but it's already set up perfectly, so we won't have to. Um, and then also, we could have just called a query. As of here, it spits out what actually was ran when we created or saved that information. We could copy that and uh, paste it within this MySQL thing and run queries as well. Uh, so that would have done the exact same thing as using the graphic user interface that we just did. Uh, but we could do it this way when we set up our new table called comments if we wanted. Uh, probably not going to because it's a lot easier if we just go home, if we go to our web service one and just create a new table of all of our comments. All right, so let's create our new table, which is going to be our comments table. Uh, this is actually going to have four fields, and we're going to hit go. Uh, the first field, again, is going to be our ID. We're just going to put post ID, integer, value of 11, and uh, index unique, and auto increment. Okay, again, sorry if this is confusing you guys. The next one, we want to know what username said the comment. So we're just gonna have username here, uh, varkar, varchar, care, I don't know. Uh, we had, I think, 64 for the length. Doesn't really matter. Um, again, this is just kind of safety precaution. We aren't too worried about like security and stuff through this tutorial, just going through kind of the basics. Um, all these remaining ones will be varkars as well, varchar, whatever. I know someone's gonna make fun of me for not being able to pronounce that or whatever. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And then also we're gonna have title and message uh, of our post. So now we're gonna know who wrote the post, what their title was, and what their message contained. And we don't need to add anything else to these different field names or field sets. Uh, we're just gonna save this, and now we see our query we could have done, uh, but whatever. Uh, we have our two tables set up, everything's good to go. Um, but the next thing that we have to do is set up our username. Um, basically what's gonna happen now is we're gonna have one PHP file, which is our config file, that connects to this specific database. Uh, it's gonna be like, hey, connect to the comment table, make some changes, add a new comment for this person, um, and add a new user within the user table. It's gonna be able to interact with this MySQL database uh, through a configuration file. Um, but to make any changes to our database, we need to have a privileged user to make those changes. But in order to make these changes, you need to be a privileged user. We're gonna have only one privileged user uh, to be able to access this database and make changes to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that privileged user put that privileged user's login credentials with our MySQL database credentials into that config file. So anytime we access the config file, we'll be able to make these changes. But first we need to create that user. So let's go back to the PHP MyAdmin, just go ahead and click that. And we're gonna say privileges. Um, but just go ahead and click this add new user here and for a username, we're gonna put whatever you guys want. I'm gonna put my name, Trav. Uh, our host will be localhost, um, or you could select local here. Our password, we could say no password, but we probably wanna have a password, especially when we put it online, because otherwise people would be able to crack this password. So we wanna make sure this password's super secure, and we probably wanna make sure our username's pretty um, kind of random too as well. That way no one will be able to hack into our system because if they did guess our username and password, they could, they could wipe out our entire database or they could change what you said. Like if they could hack into your Facebook post and 
you know, change what you said to someone and make it sound really bad or something. Um, so we kind of want to make sure this user's information is pretty secure. So I'm going to put all lowercase uh, bacon one, pretty secure password, um, bacon one, and there we go. You might also want to use like this generate, um, as you can see here. You can use generate, copy and paste this somewhere, or write it down somewhere. Um, but you know, I think bacon one is a pretty good password. Bacon one. All right. The next thing that we want to do is define what privileges this user has. So we want them to be able to create new tables, alter new tables, make changes, uh, index stuff, drop information or drop tables, uh, select information from our database, insert. Pretty much we want this user to do everything. So we can just hit check all. Uh, and these are all the privileges that the user has. And the last thing that we have to do is hit go. Now we have created our new user which is Trav at localhost. So make sure you remember this information. Bar, car, car, care, bar care, bar car, bar care. I don't know. 